and residents with a passion for uplifting the past are making sure St. Joseph's history doesn't live only in books and museums. News Press Now's Riley Funk takes a look at how community members are keeping the city's past alive today. Sharon Kosick is one of many advocates in town who believe history is a cornerstone of who we are as a community. It's just so important that we learn from history and we try to keep history alive. So Kosick was involved in this week's Voices of the Past tour, which gives residents an exclusive look at historic figures associated with the Wyeth Tootle Mansion and Mount Mora Cemetery. Kosick had a special role in the event, getting into character as Rachel Carter Hosey, the wife of former mayor of St. Joseph, Isaac Hosey. The significance of the Hosey name lives on today in the community. After serving as both mayor and on the board for the St. Joseph School District, Hosey Elementary School was named in his honor. While he was mayor, um, he was very proud to be a, also a proud school district supporter, and he did as much as he could for the, the teachers. Not only was he a mayor, but he was also a school board member. And the community, particularly the South Side, uh, was so impressed with him and his admiration for the community members and teachers that they named a school after him in 1901. It's also important to many to make sure that no part of the city's history is erased. Work is in place to obtain a marker and set up a memorial to provide a remembrance of the lynching victim, Lloyd Warner. A headstone for Warner was placed last year at Sunbridge Cemetery. The hope is to have everything in place for the memorial sometime in November, although an exact date is not yet set. This marker will symbolize and we hope people will learn from it. Um, you know, this is something we do not want to have happen again. The goal is we want to learn from history so it does not repeat itself. Riley Funk, News Press Now.